हेलो व्यूअर्स आई मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड्स बिफोर यू विथ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ प्लस थ्री फोर्थ सेमिस्टर ऑफ द पेपर नंबर एट विच इज पॉलिटिकल प्रोसेसेस एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन इन कॉम्पेटिव परस्पेक्टिव एंड द टॉपिक नेम इज नेम इज टाइस ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टीज इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस टाइस ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस देर आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडल्स रिलेटिंग टू क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी वन मॉडल हैज बीन गिवन बाय मोर आइज डूफर्जर एंड इन अदर मॉडल हैज बीन गिवन बाय जियो भानी सातोरी आई रिक्वेस्ट माई व्यूअर्स टू वॉच दिस वीडियो अटेंटिवली एंड इन कोर्स ऑफ वॉचिंग राइट एन यूर नोट्स सो दट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ नोट्स विल बी ओवर and another request i will make to my viewers that if they have not subscribe the channel they should subscribe and request your friends for the same so that students of all levels will be benefited because help to god is help to others is help to god let us start classification of political parties or the types of political party in the present society democracy is such a government which has no alternatives it is considered as the best form of government but democracy works only through the political parties till now no one has told how democracy will work without political parties so political parties are very much essential but political parties are not same there are different types of political parties will be clear about the varieties of political parties in the world if we will study in detail two important models relating to classification of political party one model has been given one model has been given by morais duverger another model has been given by giovanni sartori so first model will take off the model of morais duverger morais duverger was born in the year 1917 and he was died in the year 2014 and more as duverger has pointed out that political parties are three types he has developed a tripartite model of political party tripartite model means he has developed a model where political parties have been categorized into three categories like sing single party system or one party system two party system or bi party system other one is the multi party system so morais deverger has developed a tripartite model of classification of political party he said that political parties are mainly three categories one is one party system or single party system in one party system or single party system in the entire country there will be only one political party it controls the power it exercises the power and this party allows no other opposition groups if any opposition group is observed it is suppressed in strong hands and so a single party system is a party system where in a country only one political party is found it is very powerful it exercises the power it controls the power 
and it suppresses opposition it is known as one party system and he has categorized this one party system into two categories one is the totalitarian single party system other one is the single party dominant multi party system he has categorized single party system into two categories one is the totalitarian single party system other one is the single party dominant multi party system in the totalitarian single party system there will be only one powerful there will be only one political party in a country and the party is very powerful it does not tolerate existence of opposition parties if there will be any opposition party it suppresses them in strong hands it is termed as the totalitarian single party system it is it was observed in italy the fascist party of italy during the time of mussolini a nazi party of germany during the time of hitler and another category of single party system is that single party dominant multi party system it means if in a country no doubt many political parties are found but one political party is very powerful and no political party is able to challenge it for example indian national congress which was formed in 1885 it was very powerful from 1947 to 1967 no political party at the time was able to challenge indian national congress so this is about one party one party system or single party system of morais duverger then he has told second category of political party is the two party system or bi party system he has told that two party system or bi party system means if in a country two major parties are found it is bi party system or two party system if in a country two major parties are found it is known as bi party system or two party system and he has categorized these two party system again into two categories one is purely two party system other one is two party and some minor party system it means in two party system there are two categories number one purely two two party system it means if in a country only two parties are found number two if in a country two parties are found major parties are found and there are some minor parties also so if in a country there are two major parties are found in addition to that there are small parties are found it is known as two party and some minor party system it is observed in britain and america finally multi party system duverger has told duverger has told that multi party system means if in a country many political parties are found there is no restriction in the formation of political party and each party is capable to form the government no doubt in a country many political parties are found but each party is capable to form the government and sometime if a party will be unable to form the government at the time it forms the government with the help of other parties it is known as the coalition government so this is all about morais divergers classification of political party now discuss giovanni giovanni sartoris giovanni sartoris classification of political party giovanni sartori was born in the year 1924 and he died in the year 2017 he developed his own party system he developed his own classification of political parties so he classified political parties into two categories one is the competitive party system other one is the non competitive party system in the competitive party system he told that competitive party system is one where there will be competition among parties to get the power so competitive party system means where there will be competition among political parties to capture the power and to form the government it is competitive party system and non competitive party system means if in a country 
there will be only one political party. So if there will be only one political party, it will compete with whom? So it is known as non-competitive party system. So now we'll discuss competitive party system. In the competitive party system, he has placed two parties. Bi-party bi -party system and multi-party system. And he regarded bi-party system and multi-party system is one where in a country many parties are found but each party is different from other. He has told it polarized pluralism. So in the competitive party system he has included bi -party system and multi -party system and in the competitive party system if there will be two parties or if there will be many parties, there will be competition among them to capture the power. So it is competitive party system. And he has, and he has described bi-party system and multi-party system as polarized pluralism. Polarized pluralism means if there are many groups, but each group is different from other, it is polarized pluralism. And in this category, he has described similarities between bi-party and multi-party. And in another category, he has discussed, he has discussed dissimilarity between bi-party and multi-party. So in the first category, he has discussed common features between bi-party and multi-party. The first common feature is that in both the bi-party and multi-party, there are opposition parties. Number two. The opposition parties are very important. They play an important role. Number three, the ruling party will have to face the opposition party. Number four, each party has its own ideologies. And another common feature is that these parties sometimes giving, they are giving false assurances to people to get the power. These are the similarities between multi-party system and bi-party system. Then he has told there are some dissimilarities between multi-party system and bi-party system. The first di dissimilarity is that in multi-party system, coalition government is possible because sometimes political parties are forming the government together. But in bi-party system, coalition of government is not possible. Are there two parties? One party may come to power or another party will come to power. So in bi-party system, the question of Coalition government does not arise and multi-party system the there is chances of coalition government. Now discuss atomistic multi-party system. It is another group. In atomistic multi-party system, there are many parties, but each party is different from other. Atomistic multi-party system means it is a system where Multi parties are found. Many political many political parties are found, but each party is different from other. So this is this is all about the competitive party system of Giovanni Sartori. Then he has told non-competitive party system. In a non-competitive party system, the chance of course, the chance of competition does not arise because he is included in this category, in this category, one party system. If in the country only one political party will be found, the party will compete with whom? There will be no chance of competition. So he has included in non-competitive party system the single party system. And he has categorized single party system into three categories. One is monopolistic single party system, other one is hegemonic single party system, third one is the single party dominant system. So, monopolistic single party system means if in a country there will be only one powerful party and it has monopoly and it allows no other party to exist. It is, sing, it is monopolistic single party system. So, monopolistic single party system means if in a country there is only one party it is powerful and it allows no opposition parties. It is see, it is monopolistic single party system. And monopolistic monopolistic single party system are three types. 
वन इज टोटलिटेरियन मोनोपोलिस्टिक सिंगल पार्ट सिस्टम सो टोटलिटेरियन मोनोपोलिस्टिक सिंगल पार्ट सिस्टम इज इफ इन ए कंट्री दर बी ओनली वन पोलिटिकल पार्टी इट इज वेरी पावरफुल इट अलाउस नो अपोजिशन एंड इट फोर्सेस ऑल टू एडप्ट इट्स आइडियोलॉजी नंबर टू ऑथोरिटेरियन मोनोपोलिस्टिक सिंगल पार्ट सिस्टम इन ऑथोरिटेरियन मोनोपोलिस्टिक सिंगल पार्ट सिस्टम इन ए कंट्री दर ओन वन पोलिटिकल पार्टी बट इट यूजेस मीडियम कोर्सन एगेंस्ट ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज एंड इट अलाउस सम ऑपोजिशन ग्रुप टू अलाउस टू एग्जिस्ट सो इन द टोटल टेरियन मोनोपोलिस्टिक सिंगल पार्ट सिस्टम देर इज ओनली वन कंट्री देर इज ओनली वन पोलिटिकल पार्टी इट यूजेस कोर्सिव पावर्स एगेंस्ट ऑपोजिशन and it allows no opposition party to exist it forces other to accept its ideology in the authoritarian monopolistic single party system here the ruling party here the ruling party exercises not excessive coercion power not excessive absolute power against opposition party rather it uses medium coercive power and it allows opposition party to exist with limited freedom and finally pragmatic monopolistic single party system pragmatic monopolistic single party system in system the there will be only one party in a country it is powerful but it uses minimum coercive power against the opposition party and it allows opposition party to exist so this is all about the monopolistic single party system and their categories told by giovanni sartori another category is hegemonic single party system in the hegemonic single party system in the country only one political party is observed and in addition with it some minor parties are observed but the minor parties are not allowed to contest in election so hegemonic hegemonic single party system means if in a country only one political party is found in addition with it minor parties are found but minor parties will not be allowed to contest with the major party then hegemonic single party system again it can be categorized into two categories one is hegemonic ideological hegemonic single party system Ideologically hegemonic single party system. And number two, pragmatic hegemonic single party system. So, what is ideologically hegemonic single party system? It means if in a country there will be only one political party, and it has a specific ideology, and it prepares policies on the basis of that ideology. But here, pragmatic hegemonic single party system in a country there will be one. powerful political party there only one powerful political party but it has no specific ideology it prepares it prepares its policies on the basis of different ideologies finally single party dominant system it system if in a country many political parties are found but one party is dominant it is so much dominant it is so much powerful it is so much popular other parties are not comparable with it for example in the national congress which was very powerful from 1947 to 1967 no other political parties was able to give challenge to in the national congress from 1947 to 1967 so in this video we have discussed classification of political parties you are clear that political party is not one type here we have discussed more as dubatas model again we have discussed giovanni sartori's model thank you viewers i request you to watch this video attentively till the end so that you will get the benefits thank you again we will be here with another video till now goodbye to all